Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Devin Adams. I'm a Fortnite instructor here in Tempe, Arizona for Dynamic Worldwide, and I record these videos for the people who have taken my class. And uh, in the last video, we did a second redundant tunnel here, right? Uh, going from our headquarters to our New York office, right? Uh, this is just a cleanup video, guys. It's nothing special. So you can actually skip this right away. We're going to do it all over again, but this time, going to our Texas office. So once again, I record everything. So if someone wants to try to do this themselves, they, they can. So I promise you, this is still kind of considered just building the topology. So there's, there's still more to come. I, I promise. So, um, but let's go ahead and just uh, get that out of the way so I can go to bed. I got class tomorrow. Anyways, <laughs> here we go. So let's log into our headquarters and I'll just, uh, do everything that we did in the last video. So, all right, so here we go. This is me just, we were testing the uh, the SLAs. It wasn't too, too aggressive, uh, but I'll actually show you guys an example of if, if an interface actually does go down, uh, it will fail over pretty darn quickly. So I'll I'll be more aggressive about my my destruction uh, during my, my demo at the end of this. But let's go ahead and, um, Go to our network, go to our SD-WAN, all right, and let's create our two Texas two, okay? So here we go. We'll hit our VPN, and we'll say two Texas two, and the IP address, I believe, is 10.208. That's our make-believe public IP address. So here we go. All right, so 8.1, no, 8.1, there we go. And the outgoing interface is going to be our port three. Okay. And then we're going to say create. It's going to create the interface for us. We're going to hit cancel because we are going to go right back to our interfaces, expand the SD WAN, expand our port three. All right. And put an IP address on here. Now, in the other video, we did a 10 10. 30, 1, 2, this is going to be, oh, this is going to be uh, 4 and 5, right? So did I do the wrong interface? I think I did. Or did I go from here to here? I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to double check, guys. I am not too sure. I don't think I did that. I don't think I did that right. Because <laughs> um, I think before I had here to here, I did here to here, here to here, but I had my WAN to here. I was supposed to go from my WAN, I believe, or from here to here. <laughs> I think that's what I was supposed to do. Um, son of a gun. That's okay. You know what? It should still work. I say that, but it's gonna like destroy everything. All right, here we go. Um, 10, 10, 30. I just got to make sure they all match up correctly. All right. I mean, why not, right? So, um, and let me just verify that. See the two connections. Then I had it. I had it from port two to New York. But the Texas was here. Oh man. Anyways, it shouldn't. It shouldn't matter. They're just kind of crisscrossing weird. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm building a lot of redundancy. Anyways, all right. So um, not too bad. Let's just keep going forward. I'm not going to get tripped off over that. So let's go to our Texas office. Okay. And all I have to do here is when I create my interfaces, all right, I have to make sure that it's pointing to the right port three. I should have done port two. I didn't have to actually now that I think about it, but two HQ two. All right, that is not where I wanted to go. SD WAN, create new VPN. All right, and we'll say uh, two HQ two. And you can technically add as many VPN tunnels as you want. Um, it's just don't get too too crazy, right? Or, your, or the management side is going to get a little too wild. So, And then here's going to be our, our port 2. And that port 2 should be the 8. All right, cool. 
All right. Sorry, guys. Hope I didn't confuse anyone there. I just picked the wrong WAN interface that I wanted to. So let's go ahead and throw an IP address on it. That's what I get for making four WAN connections on the on the remote site. So or on the headquarters site. Here we go. All right. Okay. Ah, there it is. And if I remember right, this one's going to be 10, 10, 34. And this one's going to be 10, 10, 30, 3, 32. All right. Now that we have the IP addresses, we can come back to our SD-WAN and we can add it. So here we go. All right. And the next hop is going to be 10, 10, 30, 3. Okay, apply, and now we got to do it on on the other side because I don't think I did because I got distracted by <laughs> screwing that up. So here we go. Let's throw it in here. All right, so there we go, and it's going to be 10, 10, 30, 4. All right, not too bad. And just like before, all right, just like before, uh, we're going to do our performance SLAs, okay, to Texas. But now we're just going to simply add the other interface, right, for our, our performance checks. And if everything goes well, okay, uh, there should be no problem with our health checks. Yeah, there you guys go. We did it. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and uh, do the SLA on the on the Texas side because we only did it from one spot. Okay, so let's go to performance SLAs and let's go ahead and add this health check. And once again, guys, I mean you get the you get the structure of it in there, and then adding all that redundancy is not not too difficult. So um, and now we have two different quality checks here. So now how do we actually tell it to pick the best VPN tunnel? Okay. So normally we wouldn't have to do a rule for health checks, but um, we haven't created our, our internal resource rules yet. That's going to come further down the road. Uh, but let's just do that real quickly. Let's go to our SD-WAN rules. All right. And we're simply going to say, hey, you know what? Uh, if you're headed to that loop back, okay, I want you to take the best quality. All right. Um, or even the, the lowest cost, we'll say lowest cost between these two, okay? And the lowest cost is just going to put in an SLA there saying that if it gets trashed too much, don't, don't use it. So uh, we'll add the SLA, and I have these pretty high because of a lab environment. Um, they'd normally not be this high, but... I'm nested and nested and nested within my <laughs> within my environment here. All right, so we're just gonna say this uh, QoS VPN or something like that. All right. Um, oh, you know what? It did a whole it did a whole new one. I didn't want that at all. Jeez, guys, I'm telling you, man, I need YouTube magic where I just hit pause and and do everything magically. Here we go. All right. All right, so we'll say a thousand, five hundred. Normally these wouldn't be so high. Once again, did it do it, or did I not hit like the apply button? Okay, just making sure. Okay, cool. So this way, once again, when we write our rules, we can say now, you know, pick the one that has the lowest cost. All right. VPN check. That way, if it if it gets junked, it won't won't use it for consideration. Let's do that on our DC office. All right. So okay, here we go. All right. Now this might actually get a little a little trickier. Because if you look here, the rule 
might not actually does it will it know to find texas loop back i you know what guys i'm actually not too sure hmm this is why we need routing anyways we can always check it are you guys ready to check it let's check it so all right here we go so I'm going to go ahead and ping uh, 10, 1, 2, 7, 0, I don't know, 3, all right? And if it doesn't find it, I actually don't, don't blame it because I don't think this is going to be specific enough. So in other words, guys, I did a slash 16 here, so I think it's trying to find these two here, all right? And this is why we need real routing. Um, I guess we'll I guess we'll have to fix it. So let's let's fix it. Unfortunately. So the New York office, okay? Uh, obviously the loop back here is at slash 16. Now that's too general. So what we're going to have to do is actually create a a New York loop back address. So here we go. See it wasn't a problem. We only had one. So NYC uh loop back or something like that all right so uh one ten one two seven zero two all right oh my bad there we go boom baby okay so that way it'll fall through and actually actually make it this time now I promise you guys, you know, I'm only I'm only kind of rigging this up on the fly to show it step by step examples. That's not going to be a problem once we get our our dynamic routing happening, all right? But let's go ahead and see what tuttle it's going to to take. And it should take the the one that has the best path. All right. So, how do we find that out? Uh, we go over here to our all sessions, port of view, all sessions, okay? And we can see it's picking the second VPN tunnel, all right? So what happens, in the last one, I trashed the connection using my net term box, okay? But I just wanted to show you guys that, uh, you know, if we actually have an interface go down, right? So I just, I just backed my, my fiber line into a tree or something, okay? Um, Let's see if it if it kept on pinging. So it's timing out on me. That's not good. Let's hit our refresh. Okay. Man, Betty, what are you doing? That is so weird, by the way, that it actually picked up her name. I don't even want to know. All right. Okay. This is probably why... Oh, there we go. It took a couple of... A couple of... Uh, pings so um that still weirds me out because we do not have any authentication going on here it must have picked that up using net bios or something all right let's check what tunnels it's using well obviously guys it's using the backup one because that other one is down okay so easy peasy lemon greasy all right, guys. So the other one uh, in the last video wasn't as aggressive, though, because the tunnel never went down. So it tried to preserve that connection as much as possible. So um, that was actually the expected behavior. Uh, but once this comes back up, right, and once the statistics kind of cleans itself out, and we can see this here, and uh, you can get alerts on these, too. Um, here we go. If we go ahead and... Uh, Go to our network, go to our performance here. See how the tunnel's down. All right, but eventually, I promise you, there we go. It just, just rebooted itself. So we just fixed our, our downed fiber connection or whatever. So, and you can start seeing these start repairing themselves. Okay, so... Um, Here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Yay, it's back. Let me hit a refresh. Okay. Yay. See that? 
without us having to do anything. Okay. Um, now it should still use that first tunnel though, because it's up. See how it's still going. So if we go to our Ford of view and take a look, all right. I mean, that's, that's the expected behavior, but what happens if someone else wants to make a ping out to that loop? Now, guys, I promise you, uh, it's going to pick whatever has the best quality at the moment that it's trying to establish the session. And that's really what the SD-WAN does for us. So let's ping out one more time and just, just take a look just for fun. Just for fun. Because this is what we do at like midnight for fun. All right. This is why I'm not married. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So let me um, let me hit the refresh here. All right. There's our ping out to our other loopback. See how it picked the, the second VPN tunnel because it was the better path. All right, guys. So um, not too bad, right? And in a sense, it's almost, you know, utilizing both tunnels to, to get there. And as the, you know, as the quality and everything switches back and forth, it just picks the best tunnel at the moment. So, all right. So there you guys go. We're all caught up. Uh, in our next video, we start doing IBGP. All right. Good times. Hope that helps somebody. Probably not. That's okay. <laughs> all right. See you guys later.